Bueno, es la clase 2012 de la OCE en High School, pero se encuentra conmigo el encargado del distrito escolar de Bowman, el doctor Thomas, que siempre ha trabajado en el distrito escolar de Bowman y ahora nos entrega la clase 2012, graduados de la OCE en High School, doctor Thomas Roberto from La Voz Spanish Newspaper. Uh -huh. I, I was really impressed with the class of 2012. I was really impressed to see so many Hispanic students who are graduating. You know, and throughout our nation, people are talking about students dropping out and whatever. And I wish there had been a lot of people here today to see the number of students who graduated, and especially our Hispanic population of students who have graduated. Now, the key thing is, is to get those students to come back here and work in our district and teach and so forth and be good role models for the rest of the students that's coming out. But that is really impressive, and I'm really proud of the class of 2012. We see a lot of students doing honors today and uh, Spanish students and we got a more coming next year. What is your message to the next students, next generation in uh, Southeast Texas? I would say to, the, to this generation of students, be a role model, go off and do something, come back and make it better for everybody, you know, because we got the expertise now to do a lot, a lot of things. I'd also encourage everybody to vote, to vote, to vote. But more important than that, to be voters, to be good citizens of this community and et cetera. And the class that's coming behind them, we're working diligently with them. Uh, I think it's getting better and better every year for all of our students, especially Hispanic students. And I'm really proud of the contribution that all of our students are making. And I think you're going to see some very, very successful young men and la ladies in the world to come. Okay, and uh, this time, right now, I think we have some programs where students can work together like Latino for Latinos, for the people that speak uh, Spanish, you know. Some people, some students being from Mexico and they come to the United States and going to the school. What, what is your message to these people? Yeah. Change your country to look a better opportunity. Yeah, the, the, yeah, there's a great deal of opportunities here and we do have a program, bilingual program, we have ESL program for students who are just now getting here and learning Spanish. But more important than that, at Ogden Elementary, we got adult education programs for parents and adults who work and want to learn more things about the country and about America and uh, also about speaking English and those types of things. And we welcome those students, uh, welcome parents as well as students. We also have daycare uh, uh, in the district, the daycare center for, for people. So we take uh, people, uh, uh, citizens from, pre uh, from the time they're one or two years old all the way up until they're adults to try to make them fit into our, so our society and our community here. And uh, we uh, we hear some uh, news. Do you going to retire this year? Or you going to stay with ours? <laughs> yes, I'm going to retire after 44 years and 16 years in Beaumont. I think it's time for me to retire. We, the board has picked a good replacement. Our assistant superintendent, uh, Dr. Shagwar, I think he's going to do a great job for everybody. He too is committed to all students, and when we say all students, all students, because I think that's what you see. Our minority students all get a good education in this district, and I'm proud that they can compete against students from anywhere. Uh, based upon the type of education, the quality of education that we address with our students here in Beaumont. All right. Okay, thank you for talking to us, and uh, we're going to see the new superintendent next year over here. That, that's correct. There will be a new superintendent, but he's going to be a good superintendent. I think you'll be very proud of it. Uh, you said 44 years? On the 44 years in education, 16 years here in Beaumont. About 16 years before, how you remember the Hispanic community? Not too many students, Hispanic, uh, gone to the school? Uh, the dropout rate was high. We didn't have programs that addressed uh, Hispanic students, nor did we have programs that would welcome parents into the program. I think in, uh, in order for us to do things, we've got to also bring parents into the fold. And we made an all-out effort to include parents in the process, to improve, uh, include the community into the process of education. And I think that's why you see so many Hispanic students and honor students and et cetera. This is a payoff for 16 years of turning that tide and changing that culture in our community to make it that all students get a good opportunity to get a good education here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. talking to us. This is Dr. Thomas, Distrito Escolar de Bowman, and he dice que se retira este año. Esperemos si el próximo, el próximo presidente del Distrito Escolar también sea como él. 16 años hablan muy bien de su trabajo y los estudiantes graduados tienen la respuesta. Lo que se logra es estudiando y gracias a usted. Gracias, okay. señor Thomas, eh, y esperemos que el próximo principal okay. sea como usted. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. We wait for next principal work like you. Well, I will, I will. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Estamos con el señor Woodrow Ruiz, él está encargado también del Instituto Escolar de Bowman y bueno, dice el doctor Thomas que es el, el presidente de él, así es de que señor Roberto, por la voz, por la voz Spanish Newspaper. How, how are we going to do next year when we don't have Mr. Thomas on this? Uh, this uh, well, it's going to be very hard, but uh, we do have a, a superintendent-elect, Dr. Uh, Shagwar, 
and uh, we're going to continue with our program. Uh, my district is primarily in the avenues in Washington Boulevard area, so I'm very familiar with uh, the citizens of Beaumont, especially the Hispanic community. And we have to keep programs open. For, in for instance, he mentioned Ogden. It's an adult education school now, and it's for parents and students to come in, learn uh, English as well as learn Spanish and other languages, and learn how to fit out in the community. But I look forward to working with the Hispanic community because we need to get them where they can vote. When you vote, you have a voice all around the state of Texas. And now in Beaumont, uh, there's an influx of Hispanics, and we appreciate that they're here, and they're, my neighbors are Hispanic. So we, pre we appreciate uh, that, that you're going to be a vital part of the society. We see this year uh, Fletcher, Fletcher uh, School, they make a force a hundred years and we see a lot of Hispanic people going over there. How do you think work with the Fletcher uh, students and fathers? you have another programs included or we going to continue like that to the programs to the Hispanic people over there? Well, uh, they're doing a very good job there, but there are a lot of other things we need to explore. Uh, we're, uh, hopefully we're going to update all schools that wasn't built new because we do have 10 new ones. Those schools, we will innovate them with computers and labs and things that the newer schools have now. Uh, we're in the process of working on that now. It hadn't got out to the public yet, but, but that's what we're going to do because the age is computers. So we will have hopefully a computer for each student in those, in those labs. And uh, I have uh, one question to you because when I, go in, when I stay in Mexico, a lot of families, a lot of people bring students next year over here. They bring it to the United States. What is your message to the uh, students being the first time, first year in the United States in the school? What they need to do to do better job and better students? Well, uh, the, the students have to come in and have the willing to learn because a lot of the students are going to teach their parents. Uh, English language and the, the way of America and so that we're gonna have to work diligently and Fletcher is one of the schools that has the most uh, population of Hispanic kids especially uh, first through fifth grade thank you and uh, I know you won't work all day today here huh yes. Westbrook Central yes. okay. that's what we do that's when you get elected to these positions that's what you have to do one day job yes we well, used to do it Thursday Friday and Saturday you tied up three nights now we tie up one. <laughs> okay, thank you.